It's hot. It's summer almost. Hi. We're having a heat wave. <laughs> hot. Hot in the kitchen. It's hot in Corona kitchen. <laughs> I, we are on the edge of the heat wave. You can't stay on the heat and out of the kitchen. <laughs> Right. We did it. Hey. Hi. The miracle. Today was so crazy. Um Hello, my friend. Hi. <laughs> we we did something crazy today. <laughs> okay, we really did, and we need to tell the folks at home. Um so this will be so funny if we actually get a call. <laughs> I wonder if it will happen. Um, so it's weird for me to be on the other side because, as most people know, I'm a TV producer writer. But this is a talent thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> we found out about this submission for a little competitive. Gordon Ramsay. Cooking He's show. So one may know of. And um, so we both applied for it to see if we get on. <laughs> it is, it could be like my worst possible nightmare if I ever, if they ever called me. I am like so non-competitive and to be put in those like heated up situations where you have to like cook in, I don't know, some strange situation. I don't, I, I, I the shows I've worked on have always been like, oh, we're going to make something or, oh, here's some stuff and how to do it. And, and you know, and here's some products and blah, blah, blah. Here's some chefs. Let's interview them. I've never been on any of those crazy, like, you know, you have five minutes chopped. Here's your ingredients. You know, like, I've never done that. Yeah, I mean, you're like, weird ingredients. Make something out of it. Oh. I, mean, I played it at home with the kids. They're like, here, make some dinner. Yeah, no, I do that when I open my cupboard. Hmm, what can I make out of this? You but know I don't do it in under a time constraint or live on TV or with a thousand people watching me. Uh, thousands? Try millions. No, the pressure. <laughs> the pressure to be on those things is insane. Yeah. I can only imagine. And so, well, we'll see. Well, see. it was funny to do, that's for sure. Yeah, it was <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. In any case, um, so I'm going to make some jello today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's so hot. There's a heat wave. Um, California, Arizona, Utah, Montana, and we're like right on the edge of it. But it was really hot today. And I don't remember it being like this. In the beginning of June, it's really hot mm -hmm. here in our area. Mm -hmm. And so there's a win-win right now. Uh, making a cool, delicious dessert from scratch. But the win, the other side of the coin is if you're trying to lose the COVID-19 like me, <laughs> um, you you know, this is a totally fat-free, like, you know, yummy, healthy, good dessert for you. And it's not using Jello. I'm gonna do it all from scratch with gelatin. Um, now, when I was just at Sprout, I saw the stuff I think you're talking about, which is if you're vegan, they have yeah. a non gelatin product and it was called Agar. gel. Oh gel. yes, gel. I've used gel. gel. And it was um, from a company called Bake All, like uh -huh. B A K O L. But I couldn't, I saw the ingredients there in such fine print and I didn't have my glasses. I couldn't really see exactly what it was made out of. Yeah. Well, I use um, agar leaf, like they're like they're like leaves. Mm -hmm. um, I don't actually know what that is either, but I don't. I think it's from a plant. I just decided I wasn't going to experiment for the four hundredth time on the show and just do something I know. So I bought yeah. the okay. two boxes of old Knox. Yes, good old Knox gelatin. Yep. You don't want to know what it's made out of, anyway. Um, if you're okay with not knowing, moving right along. Oh, um, someone thinks we can do it and win. That's really kind. <laughs> oh, that, that's sweet. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, we'll let you know if one of us gets called. <laughs> um, 
So I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to make like a more of a presentational jello. I'm going to make cherry lime uh, because the black cherries were gorgeous. Mm, at I the know. Store. Oh, it's so good. And um, I have some really great limes, and I just love that flavor combo. And I have some strawberries too that I might throw in to, to make it look really pretty. I have blueberry, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna, yeah. I can't do that part in front of with you right now. We, because Jello is definitely a several uh, stages. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but it's so easy. And I'm also gonna do an opaque layer. Yeah, make it really kind of pretty. So, the first thing is, um, which I did not know, you have to let your uh, jello, your gelatin bloom. Did you know about that? Do you know? Okay, I did it. Yes, I did it when we, when I made the mousse. I I may not have called it a blooming, but that's what you do. You let the gel the gelatin sit in the hot juice right. for like five minutes right. until it. I guess they call it blooming. That's what they call it. And so mm -hmm. this particular thing, um, it's four envelopes of gelatin. I don't know how much that is. Oh, each one is one ounce. Okay. So. So that's four ounces. Are you doing four? Is that what you said? I'm going to do four. And I have. Blooming onion. Yeah. Did you ever eat that blooming onion? Have you ever had that? What? The blooming onion. At the fair? Uh, or at Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> I've never had it there, but I've had it at the fair. Okay, so I had this beautiful organic black cherry juice. I poured mm. it into my giant Pyrex, and it's like three and a half cups. And then I have this limeade left over, so I'm going to add that to it. <laughs> awesome. It's going to be interesting. Oh, the other thing I learned about Jello is that um, now we're exactly at four pounds. Um, the other thing I learned about Jello is so uh, you cannot use papaya, mango, or pineapple because of the enzymes messes up the gelatin. You can do something with it. I think you have to cook it. You have to really heat it. I don't know, but if you Want to oh. use those flavors? It has a particular enzyme in it that, for lack of a better term, f's up the process. So, oh, oh well, I used it in my mango mousse, and it was fine. Mm -hmm. And it was fine. But mm -hmm. did you heat it? You didn't heat it, did you? Heat what? The the, the jello? Mango? No, you didn't. Right? Mango. No, I did not heat the mango. I think they're saying if it's juice. You oh, okay. No, it was it was just mango. Yeah. Thanks. And I blend it in lime juice. Okay. So apparently if you use the juice of it, that's the case. So uh, just okay. read, up, read up on that if you want to use those flavors. I'm not using any of those flavors today, but, but basically, so I got these four cups of juice. And the first thing is I have to do the bloom with one cup and then sprinkle in all the gelatin before the four um Okay, so it's kind of like yeast when you do yeast, right? Yeah, it's I, exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's really handy to have things that have pouring spouts on them. Yes, it is. It's a handy dandy item. Yes, so what, what? how much are you going to heat up? So I'm only going to put in a cup. And this is like the limeade and the cherry juice mix. A cup of this. Um, it's, to, it's effervescent. It is a little bit. It's a tiny bit. My dogs are freaking out. Why? What's the big deal? Oh my God. <laughs> Someone's saying 1,954 calori calories are in one blooming onion. Okay, so. Don't wow. eat the blooming onion when you're doing the COVID-19 dance. This is exactly why I'm making this dessert. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put four packets in here, and I'm going to whisk it a little bit. And this is going to go sit for five minutes while we start simmering the rest of the juice over the stove. Okay. Okay. So four packets. And I, for one, like a firm jello. I don't know about you. 
I don't like it when it's not firm. I I don't actually eat much jello. I mean, I use gelatin, like if I'm making that mango mousse or something like that, but I don't generally eat, eat it unless it's creamy. Well, when I make the opaque portion of one of the layers of my jello, it will be creamy because I'm adding this lovely organic sweetened condensed milk to it. Nice. And it's going to be yummy. Yum. So the thing is, I'm not going to be able to show everybody the fruit part and the layering part because you have, I'm going to have to get this to set a little bit before other. Okay, Lisa, here is a here is a question. Okay. So you can actually see it, quote unquote, fermenting or whatever, like yeast does. When is it blooming? Um, that's a really good question. I, it doesn't. It doesn't do what yeast does. It doesn't foam and bubble. Alive. It's not alive, and that way you just have to get. It basically, it. is absorbing the moisture so that when you um, mix the 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 bloom gelatin section in with the rest of it, it's not um, in lumps because you want it to dissolve. You want it to dissolve. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why I'm whisking it. So I'm going to take yeah. the rest of the juice. I'm going to put it in this pan. And I'm gonna to start to simmer with three quarters of a cup of regular sugar. Okay. <laughs> Jello is a favorite of colonoscopy recipients. Not this girl. <laughs> okay. Whoa, well, this is gonna be really tasty, actually, and I think quite a beautiful presentation. Um, you know, I had to make it um, when Ronan got his wisdom teeth out. So mm -hmm. um, I'm just, you know, I kind of practiced. I was going to do it on the show, remember? And then I was yep. like, well, maybe I should practice for <laughs> I put three. And so what is that, the sugar? This is the regular sugar. Okay. Three quarters of a cup. Getting a whisk. Okay, so this is just, you know, doing its thing over here in the liquid. I'm going to heat this up, and then we're going to put it in a big bowl, and then that's going to dissolve all the gelatin completely yeah because gelatin can be clumpy that's the thing and that's i think why they have you quote unquote bloom it and you don't want to do that so so yeah just doing this and then once this gets going um i'm gonna reserve a portion of it for to add to the sweetened condensed milk um, mm -hmm. for that layer and i'm gonna put everything in um my bunt pan and i'm going to make a mold oh, make a pretty mold nice and so do you have to spray that or how does it slide out yes so all i have is canola oil spray so i went out and bought some coconut oil, coconut oil. i always get the trader joe's ones I, I like them and i figured for a sweet thing that will taste the best i didn't want to use like you know, yeah weird oil yeah. So yeah, so you just spray it and get off any excess, you know, don't let it puddle in. And that's all you have to do. And then you pour the first layer in and I'm gonna refrigerate it for about 30 or 40 minutes. So it gets like the consistency of hair gel, says Martha Stewart. Okay. And then, um, and then um, I'm going to uh, layer my fruit and do my, you know, things with the fruit. Um, and then I'm going to add, uh, let that gel even more, like maybe an hour or so. And then I'm gonna add my condensed milk, rest of the juice layer. And it'll turn like a pretty pink probably because this is- a All right, so color. tell everyone why you do it that way. Well- Instead of just putting the fruit in now. If you put the fruit in now, it will float and it won't, and it won't It'll, or sink to the bottom, depending. I won't have it where I want it. Like I want it to have a beautiful design, and I, you know what I mean, and stick it down the sides or whatever you want to do with it. Um, otherwise, it, it, it the fruit sinks, and you, you know, you don't have any control. You don't have any it. control over it. Yeah. So someone's saying, how do you layer the fruit? So you just wait till it gets like you know, 
pudding-esque, I guess, gel-esque. Then you can do what you want with the fruit, placing the fruit. Then let that gel even more before you put the next layer. Um, and that's what you have to do. So, And then I'm going to let it um, refrigerate overnight. Okay. And then um, tomorrow I will flip it over and I'll take photos of this. Just take a, okay. you know, if you want to put it on a, I might put it on my cake stand, you know, and put that on the bottom and flip it. <laughs> cool, cool the cake stand first. <laughs> it's so hot. Well, yeah, right. Good point. I'll put the cake stand in the fridge. The whole yeah. thing will just live in the fridge. It will not sit out. Um, yeah. And then, um, and then you'll be able to. Although tomorrow's out. supposed to be cooler than today. Like. Uh, the high today, I think, was in the 90s, and tomorrow it's only supposed to be the upper 80s. So that that'll be a little bit cooler. I'm also going to put a lime layer too. I'm going to actually put lime, very thinly sliced lime in there. Okay. I think it's going to be really yummy, and then up oh, fresh cherries. You know, um, I, I think. So you have cherries and what? Is cherries, lime, and strawberries. You think? Maybe strawberries. But we'll see. I, I, but this should be very clear and beautiful and, you know, all right. So what's interesting is this has soaked up all of my jello. Yeah. And now I'm going to put it in because it's starting to simmer and I'm going to whisk it some more. Get it going in here. All right. It's, so, it's really grainy. And so that, so that doesn't scare anybody it's supposed to be that way softens it up mm -hmm. and just does a little bit of the work before you put it in the heat you know mm -hmm. because once this starts to cool it starts to gel set so up yeah i have to spray the thing right now this is going to cool and then i'm going to pour it in the mold okay and that's really it i mean i could slice some fruit with you but so are you so tell me how you're gonna do the the um the opaque layer. So here's the here's what the opaque layer is. So this is as we know four cups of liquid. I'm gonna take one cup, maybe one and a half cups of this, this juice liquid, and I'm going to um add it to this 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to add gelatin to that. Probably two packets, maybe one. So more gelatin than than what's in that you already have some in the juice. Okay. That's gonna have to have a gel too. And then um, do I have to keep that one up? Let me see. Yeah, because that sweetened condensed milk is heavy, right? Yes. I have to simmer it a little bit to activate the gelatin on that as well. Mm -hmm. But you never boil, you whisk the whole time. That's about a packet of gelatin and that has to cool. But see, that will keep this kind of soupy consistency, the, the, the milk one, and it'll just get really creamy and have this great cherry juice flavor um, with a little bit of sugar. And um, this is really a low sugar for Jello. If you look at the amount of sugar in regular Jello, it's obscene. It's totally mm -hmm. so. This is all right. So, so what are you doing now? You're just whisking it and heating it. I'm simmering it. It's looking like it is perfectly dissolved. Okay, that's what you're looking for. Is it's is so that it's dissolved. Gorgeously dissolved the sugar and the gelatin. And I think the blooming really helped to do that for five minutes before. Um, and now this is just going to cool, right? And when it cools down to like room temp, I'm going to pour it into the mold. But my, right now I'm going to show you how I would spray the mold. So I'm taking this. Okay. So someone has a question. Sure. Take so that. will that be the bottom layer because it's heavy? No. This will be. We were going to pour this jello one, the clear jello, red jello, cherry jello, into here, right? And mm -hmm. then we pour the sweetened condensed milk one after, you know, it gels with the fruit and all that. And then when I flip it over, see, look, 
Then it becomes the bottom layer. Da -da -da -da. So it's gonna yeah. go super red and then kind of a pink. And then when you slice it, it's gonna be really yeah. cute with the fruit. And yeah. healthy and tasty and from scratch. And you didn't use Jello brand gelatin. <laughs> Which um, is a packet of sugar. Oh. A lot of stuff in there. And God it. knows what else in there. I mean, yeah. I don't think they actually use juice. I think they use go. They, I'm not going to bad mouth, but they don't use juice. It's solid, <laughs> sugar. It's solid sugar and like dye probably. But this you have control of what it is. And, you know, if you want to go ahead and experiment with the vegan one, I, I really want to. I'm going to get it next time and see if it works. But I didn't want to do yeah. that for the show. In case, but I know this will work. Um, so, yeah. So, pretty much now um, it's just, you know, shaking this. And, and I got coconut oil because I thought. Uh, it's it's more dessert, dessert like than you know canola or something. Right. Yeah, and definitely not olive. <laughs> spray it, let it sit to the side, and then like have the oil drip down to the bottom, and then pour out any excess. So it's just you just want it misted, covered, right? And then um, and then I'll pour this mixture that I just simmered in after it cools down. Okay. I'm gonna let that go in the fridge for like 30, um, 40 minutes. It will become a gel-like consistency. Then I'm gonna put the fruit on top and, and inside and you know, all over the fruit. On the edges, okay. Yeah. Cool, and I'm excited. I'll, all right, I'll post all of this. It'll be exact, you'll see. Um, tomorrow I'll, I'll have the photo of it and we'll have it for lunch for, a, you know, a little treat. We can have it on Friday and we'll add alcohol and have jello shots. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about that. We can do jello shots. They have to be a hundred proof. They can't be less than that or it doesn't work. It's weird. Like as I was researching this, the jello shots the jello yeah. shots come up. <laughs> well, when you put in jello, jello shots come up before on Google before anything else. Oh my God, that's so funny. Well, we have been in quarantine for quite some time. <laughs> People are just like, yeah, I'm ready for the jello, jello shot. <laughs> ready for the jello shot. But yeah, it's so easy and you can get so creative. Peaches, all the summer fruit, apples, you could do um, any of the berries, all of the berries. You know? All the berries, stone fruits, yeah. Super yummy. Cool. Um, but I'm excited to see the different layers and, you know, and you could make it a different color if you wanted to. I'm not going to add any food coloring or anything like that. Uh, but it's Hello, shots. make sure we're not driving on Friday. <laughs> yeah. <You> never are. <laughs> um, but we, we, um, we don't drink and drive at all. No, we don't. We're, we're highly against that. We get designated yeah. driver. Yes. Or, do. Uh, Uber. Okay. I'm going to pull up this for a sec. Just so you guys remember our Instagram account at the Corona Kitsch. Join, please. And thank you, Dawn, for uh, promoting our, our Instagram account on your Instagram account after you won the banner this week. Yay! Hey, Dawn Galzerano, who is at three.kind.charcuterie at um, her Instagram. Check it out. Mm -hmm. She's just Stunning. She's amazing. Stunning food artist. She's stunning. Stunning food artist. Mm -hmm. She is. All right. So the Poor People's Campaign today, and one of our viewers, Kelly, uh, was at the march in West Virginia. Awesome. To wow. pressure Joe Manchin. So join the Poor People's Campaign. They're doing such great work. Um, Demcast and Public Citizen are also uh, uh, groups that you can look up and join if you want to get active. We need to start getting on the 2022 election season. It's now. It's not three months before. It's now. So there's that. And then um, I am doing this, um, and I'm going to share it with you. Uh, I was on a call with Stacey Abrams um, a couple nights ago, and they're doing the, the Hot Call Summer. They're encouraged every, everyone to call their senators um, every single day. Every day, doesn't matter if they're Democrat or Republican, and tell them you support passing the For the People Act. If you use this number, it will automatically connect you to your senators. It's super easy. It takes less than five minutes. And if we all do it, we can all get our voting rights protected. 
just make it part of your day. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So that's, that's my, uh, activism for the day. I got my uh, Kirby G shirt. You got your shirt on too, girl. This is a really, uh, apropos scenario with this one. Um, mm, gorgeous. Well, it's pride month. Happy pride month. Happy yeah. pride, everybody. Happy Pride. Love love. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Yes, chocolate martini jello shots. Oh, yeah. Well, you can make a jello or you can make a martini. I don't know. I was looking at my creme de cacao this morning and it was looking oh. really tasty. It's, doesn't it smell amazing? I haven't done it. I'm going to smell it on the show. Oh, you didn't open it? It's I can't smell it. Cloud of chocolate. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so I mean, I'm looking forward to Friday for sure. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Okay, yeah. Well, thanks for sharing your Jello with us on this hot, hot Monday. You know, and the other thing is, um, you could put these, you could layer these in glasses if you want, and you yeah, can, that'd be pretty whipped dessert. Whipped cream. It's a really great summer dessert. So easy, and you don't have to feel guilty if you're trying to stay healthy or lose weight or anything like that. You could just have a couple. Munch your Jello. Munch it, and you're fine. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, honey. Uh, that was great. I, I, I like watching real food being made. Let's just say that. We'll see. If we have to make it on TV. But of course, fancy. Thanks, Harry. That was nice. Stay safe. Wear a mask if you need to.